What's up, YouTube? This is Cyber Horn 92 here. I'm here with who? Uh, Mitchell Martin. All right, and can we see your deck profile? How's it going? So um, I played uh, Thunder Dragon Danger. Uh, I thought it was the best deck to play at the ARG here in Las Vegas. And uh, let's get into the profile. Um, three Phantom Sky Blaster and three Battery Man Solar. They're like your quote-unquote starter cards. Um, Sky Blaster really just like special summoning tokens to link spam or like clear back row. Um, probably like my favorite one. And he's dark as well, which um, I'll get to that later. But Allura Darkness is a, being an Allura Darkness target is so rough going into a board. Was good because if you have already normal, then you draw into him, then he's just dead. But um, in the dangers, three Nessie, three Jackalope, two Snake, and Mothman. Uh, I think this is the best ratio. Um, the Mothman honestly puts in work just being able to special summon him off um, either Jackalope or search him from Nessie to normal him. Under Star Yuja, a 21 body is just really strong. Um, you know, I could have done 3 Snake as well, but I wanted variants because if I've used Snake already, then I couldn't use it again. Um, Thunder Dragons, 3 OG, 2 Dark. Um, a lot of people are playing 3 as well. But you really don't want to see multiples of the Thunder Dragons. Like you really just want to start your um, start your plays by special summoning this off the uh, uh, roar to this one. But um, two Hawk, I also play it. Hawk just lets you um, either special Colossus later because you discard him or the OG and uh, Hawk after like if you have to break a board follow up play Hawk is really strong and then the one duo he's level 8 which is really important and he's also kind of like a BLS banish a light and a dark and grave so it triggers Eclipse Wyvern and the baby dragons the staples um, staple yeah you just need these to start the combo uh, Eclipse, Diablos, Devil, Levianir. Um, I would have played the Chaos Emperor prize card if I had it, because um, you can actually use it, or banish it off Eclipse Wyvern, and then use its effect in scale to uh, add back the Eclipse and then use Eclipse again to get the Levianir. So it's kind of like an extra level 8 special summon. And he's very good going second. Um, 3,000 beater that you only need to banish 2 for, and can uh, board wipe. Two Ogre is the hand trap. Um, it's very good for summon sorceress. Um, just like popping a sword, you can't special to his zone. It points to since it's not on the field anymore. Uh, probably the best hand trap this format. My I played three Allure and Gold Shark instead of Sekka's Light, and that's because in the side deck I played other spells and traps. And uh, plus, you can activate multiples Allure in one time or in one turn, which is a uh, very strong. You just best card in the deck. Honestly, it's just like. Helps you see stuff. Uh, guard Dragons, um, Triple Burst. Triple Burst came up a lot. Uh, versus Trickstar and Sky Striker to uh, Negora Load. Uh, Link Spider, sometimes off the Sky Blaster plays. You need to summon him before going into uh, Saryuja. I played Cerberus. Cerberus is how you out this board, actually. So, um, and I played Phoenix and Unicorn. The staple. Uh, I played Crystal Wing over the Hot Reds, <laughs> and uh, this card, uh, it's only monster effects compared to any card, but it includes the term uh, destroy in the design staple and then triple colossus staple. Pretty solid. Mm -hmm. And then uh, side deck, I played uh, three Rosh Fear Mode. Uh, it's the best board breaker. Uh, can't be negated, really. I mean, Becca, it turns off the Salamander uh, back row. So, uh, three Phantasmal, the card is insane, just like helps you see stuff, and he's a 24 beater. Uh, I played this, I didn't actually get to resolve the um, Scarlight effect. And then three Red Reboot for uh, three Called by the Grave. So Called by the Grave was probably the MVP of the tournament. Um, going first, shout out to Team Jobber, uh, my locals, Top Cal, uh, shout out Colby, Noah.